It's your main man, Dame Drops. Of course, rocking with my boy, Matt. We're here, Mad Styles, at Maximum Beverage, tasting all type of libations. Patience. That's good. <laughs> That's what's up. Bro, I'm telling you right now, I don't normally drink wine. You know me, man. I We've know, been out I before. What are the rum and coke, bro? But I know you have your brown bag in the series on Facebook. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. You know, so this only makes sense for you to recreate and enhance my palate to give me a better understanding of this wine game. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna dip our toes in the wine game. Dip Where it in. are you taking me with this one? So like, we're gonna are you, start are you getting crazy or no? We're, we're not light? going crazy. We're going light. We're going simple. These are, these are wines you'll find in any part of the country. So okay. we're gonna compare them. We got two red blends. Okay, we're gonna go through how we taste wine. Number one, that's very important. The way you taste something is important. You have to experience. We have all these senses. We got our you know our nose, our smell, and we got our taste in the combination of the two. And then we got sight. We can see it right. Let's get into both these wines. We got the Apothic Red. Crazy thing, I mean, what, what is the price point for an Apothic Red? Oh, we're red? cheap. We're going cheap. We're 10 bucks. Right. You find this for over 10 bucks, shop somewhere else. Next one, we got the Cupcake Vineyards Red Velvet. Same price, under okay. 10, 9.99. Two different vintages, 2013, 2014, but I don't think that's gonna make a difference. We'll start here. We'll start Apothic Red. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me look at the color. Pretty dark. So, yeah, sometimes you want to look it up, you get it into the light a little bit. Mm -hmm. You know, you can see through what it. What am I looking for, though, I if I'm putting it up on the You light know, light. Uh, one of the things, like, if you look at a wine like this, you can see how on the on the rim, right, it gets kind of purple. You know, that shows you it's kind of young, right? So you go like this. We like to tilt it. We look at the rim of the of the gla of the wine, like the okay. edge of the, and you see how it kind of changes color there. Mm. So, you know, it gives you an idea. Over time, you learn what color tells you, but this shows you that this wine has probably a lot going on, a lot of flavor, because it's pretty dark. First thing we do after we check the color, we swirl. We swirl. We swirl. Easiest way to swirl, I like to go like this, keep it on the base and just let it go. Now what that does, we bring oxygen into the wine. Oxygen is important because oxygen releases the aromas. If you don't have oxygen, you don't have air in the wine. So right? releasing the aromas by swirling the wine. So we swirl the wine, aerates the wine, mm -hmm. and uh, when we put our nose in there, now when we sniff the wine, we don't, we don't, we don't do this. We don't baby sniff. Mm -hmm. We do big sniffs. You go well, deep. Your nose, you nose deep. deep Sometimes into the I glass. tilt the wine just so it's right under my nose. Mm -hmm. So if I like tip, tipped a little bit, I breathe it right up my nose. Get right up there. So you get right in there, just. Smell that good, right deep. Ooh. Right? Ooh. It works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get a swirl. I got almost kind of warm on the inside of the chest piece. What do you get? What kind of flip? No, aromas do you get? Don't tell me grapes, Dan. I'm not getting grapes, but I'm, uh, I might, I might hit a little bit of cherry. Am I hitting cherry on this one, bro? Yeah, this cherry. You get like, a little bit of cherry. It's like straight cherry and ice cream. A lot of vanilla, and that comes from <laughs> oak. All right, so we got the nose, we got the sight mm -hmm. or the uh, color. Right now, we got to get into the mouth feel. So we take that puppy right in. What's that residue all up in my face on this one? I'm, dude, I got the I got the oak from the wines that I've had in my lifetime. I can't say that I am strongly impressed with the Apothic Red. It doesn't it, match up to that isosceles we had in your car? No, I, we're, we're at a point right now where I feel I'm getting raw wine, raw wine. Like, I won't even say the raw grapes, but Unripe. it's, it's just, it's strong. It's like there's there's something missing in the, the ingredients of putting this particular wine together yep. to to make it comforting when you go to drink it. This, this right here is just, ah. It's off balance. Oh. The finish is a little bitter. That finish is terrible. That dismount is terrible. Bad dismount. Cupcake, man. When this came out, ladies love cupcake. Now you got cupcake. You got red velvet on there red as well. Red velvet. You excited? Yeah, red velvet cupcake. I have high expectations. Like it's gonna take me there. I don't know. It's not gonna taste like a like a old cupcake. 
No, I hope not. You can find it in any grocery store that sells wine, any wine store in America, you will find both of these wines. Mm. I'm be honest. That nose, it's not bad. I'm, I'm opening it up. I'm opening it up right now. And some oxygen. Get that oxygen. That. You get that swirl. Get that swirl. You can do that too. When you get a, become a pro, you can mm -hmm. do this. Oh, but that's risky though. Spilling it. Don't spill. No, I'm not about that life yet. I'm working my way. Ooh, look at that, that nose. That nose is a little bit lighter. You like it? It's not as heavy. I don't get that warm sensation running through my soul on the nose. That one seems as if it's been balanced. treated with a little bit of love. A little bit more respect, maybe. Yeah. How about some like yeah. a little, co little coffee? A little coffee on there. Okay. Okay. A little coffee aroma. His nose is more in tune than mine. I'm learning. We're working through way. it, man. Get it back in there. Pick a coffee when you're smelling that. Strawberry, definitely. A little plastic too, right? A little plastic. You get some plastic. Uh, we were talking about gaming earlier. You know when you open a game, brand new game, you take off the plastic, mm -hmm. you open up, you get that like fresh smell. Yeah. That's, of like of like chemicals. You're getting. You're getting a little bit of chemicals. Happening. A little fresh I, chemicals. I can agree with that. Let's try. It. Ooh. Ooh. Not as sweet. Not as sweet at all. Better. Like, like ballerina feet on that one. Light on his toes. Delicate, right? Yeah. Alright. A little, little more respectful. Matter of fact, that's a suit and tie wine. Suit and tie? Suit and tie. Uh, first date. First date. First you, date? you don't want to be about 50 dates in. It's not a 50 date in wine, but it is a first date wine. This is a first date wine. This, okay. is, this is maybe like uh, in-laws. Ooh, in-laws, indeed. In-laws, but you've known them for a while, mm. and you know that your mother-in-law, she doesn't really care for good wine. Right. But you'll bring this because you don't want to disrespect her. Exactly. So you don't want to come empty-handed. No, you gotta show up. You have to show you up. You have to show up. Or Apothic Red, for the way that it came through, just on the taste alone, off the nose being extremely strong, off that bitter sensation and that that raw film that's left behind in my mouth after I take it. I don't understand what that's all about. Apothic Red, out of a 10, I'm giving it a three. I'm gonna give the Apothic Red a five. Okay. I'm gonna go five. I'm just straight down the line. Down the middle. middle. Line. It's 10 bucks. Price points gotta be consideration, right? Yeah. 10 bucks. Respectable. A lot of crappy wine at 10 bucks. This is probably finding its way along the line of crap at 10 bucks. Cupcake Red Velvet 2013. Light, light on his feet, welcoming. Said, come on in, you're a first time red wine drinker. We have an experience for you, an understanding for you, an appreciation for who you are. Coming into side of understanding the red blend for the first time. Bring it to any family gathering. Out of a 10, Going seven and a half. Whoa! Seven and, seven a, and half. a half to a three. Yeah. Oh my that's god. A, that's, Matt, that's just how I fit. You just killed it. That's just how I fit. Apothic red is done. Will the brand survive? Yes. They because will persevere. because it has an audience. Cupcake. I'm not gonna get too hot on it. You like the cupcake. I like the cupcake. But I'm, again, I'm new coming in. Six. Okay, just six. Just turn a little bit. Five eight. Ooh, 5.8. You went from six down to five. I went down. That was too nice. It was six too nice. out of six. 5.8 out of 10. Mm -hmm. I don't know if this, I think this is the two lowest scores I've ever had, I've scored wine. Ever. I mean, are you pre wine hating right now? Because you have had so many wines over the years. Yeah. Are you like really comparing them to some of the greater wines that you've had? I'm comparing to other wines around 10 bucks. Okay. Guys, welcome to the first episode of Mad Styles. That's Matt and Dame Styles bringing you libation information every once in a while. We're not gonna put a. You gonna see it when you see it. You gonna see when you see it. Talking beverages. We're not gonna stick straight to wine. We're gonna bring you spirits. We're gonna do some beer. Mm. Maybe bring back. I, I, I know there's a, there's a lot of beer lovers out there. There are a lot of beer lovers out there. We did some craft beer. Yeah. We'll brown bag some stuff. Mm -hmm. We started this one off simple. We dipped our toe in the water. We got stung a little bit. It was a little hot. Mm. We 
cooled down a little bit with the cupcake. Respect. I like it. We'll see you next episode.